Look, I'm telling you, I am gonna get the 270 grand and we're gonna get your house back. That is a promise. So if you're looking to learn how to play golf, it looks like you made it to the right channel, my friends, because this is going to be a full nine hole tutorial on how to play golf. Now, you guys may have driven past this place or flown past it a time or two and just noticed that, yeah, there's a golf course over here in GTA 5, almost smack dab right in the middle of the city. But potentially, you guys have never come over here and played any golf whatsoever. Uh, either maybe you have, but your game wasn't as strong as you wanted it to be. Personally, I would be lucky to find a random that could actually make it through all nine holes without rage quitting. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to play golf. So I'm going to be walking you guys through every single hole. There's only nine holes in the game, and I'm going to be talking about some strategies that you can be using. So right now, I am getting my golf buddy. So me and this person right here, he's my friend, and we play golf all the time trying to strengthen our game, especially me. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys techniques that you can be using, strategies that you can be using, and a whole bunch of other tips and tricks while you guys are going into golf. Now, this is more of a competitious thing. I don't think a person is going to be making a lot of money or a lot of RP doing something like this. This is strictly skill, okay? So, like, when you go in here, you have no more friends. This is basically... Uh, you know, if you guys don't know how to play golf too, I will be talking about that as well. Me, particularly, I don't know all the clubs. Like, I don't play golf in real life. I just play golf in video games. And I can guarantee you, if I probably try to play golf in real life, it wouldn't go as best as planned. I can just imagine that. <laughs> you know, like, as good as game as I would get in this game of golf that I'm about to show you guys. And just to let you know, too, it's about my average score. So you guys want to make sure you're staying in the green, if not even, okay? If you get into that red, which we'll be talking about, it's just basically too many swings. So if you guys don't know how to play golf, the main goal of golf, of course, is getting the ball in the hole. But, you know, sometimes you can't do that. So the best thing you can do is try to do it with as least swings as possible. And you guys notice, too, in the beginning there, you can also bet some money on yourself or you can bet money on your friends and once again you can have up to four people playing golf at the same time so we're going to be going over this so here's my friend right here and mainly what we're going to be doing here for this first you guys can see the the course in the bottom left hand corner there is just drive this sucker as far as possible now you can see that the wind is pushing back just a little bit here and off to the right Definitely want to avoid that sand pit right there. If you were to hit it hard enough, straight enough, it'll go right in that sand pit. So we're wanting to curve it a little bit off to the right. There's a little bit of hill there, okay? So for me, I'm going to press R1 or RB so I can change that. And then up and down on the D-pad is going to be your guys' strength, okay? So I just strength it up. This is, as, this is as far as much strength as I can get right here. So also, pay attention to the upper right-hand corner. That wind is going to be a big... Holy shit! ...big factor when you guys are playing golf. So look at this. Bam, made it right on top of that hill. That's pretty good right there. That's a nice shot. All right, now it's my friend's turn again. So for this one, once again, we just want to drive it as far down the course as possible. So that's what he's doing. We'll see how good of a shot he gets here. Not bad. And just to remind you guys, too, if you didn't know, like, how the grass works. So we got this lighter green grass here, and we got darker green grass. And that means that you want to stay in the lighter green grass. And then there's also, like, a little middle right there, kind of on the edge. So yeah, I definitely want to keep it in the fairway to where it's going to be in the lightest color grass. Otherwise, you're going to wind up in thick grass, which is not going to allow you to, you know, potentially put your ball as far as you want. So right here, I'm in the thick. So I'm going to be talking about the strategy that I'm going to be using here since I'm so close to the hole, but I'm not going to be putting it as well. So I think at this time, what we're going to want to do is just make sure that you guys punch it, okay? That's like when you get close enough to the hole, you always want to punch it. Just remember this, when in doubt, punch it out, okay? That's, that's what we say here in golf. So that's what I'm going to be doing right here. And then also the wind looks like it is pushing against me. 
So maybe a little bit of extra strength. I just want to change this, and I want to go ahead and punch this over there, which I'm changing it up right here. So this is punch. So this is going to go ahead and launch it a little bit more forward. Hey, Gilmore, you suck, you jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? Then upward, because when you guys launch it more upward, you're going to get a lot more bounce, and you never know really where your ball is going to go. Now, also, always remember... You know to hit it when it's in the yellow right there sometimes i go a little bit over the yellow but we'll be talking about that as we go along here as we're getting through these holes so right there that's an auto putt so my friend landed his ball close enough to the hole to where it actually gave him an auto putt he's looking good right now all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this straight in this is a very important piece of information that you guys have to remember at this time holes Number one, number two, number six, and number nine are going to be straight putts, meaning you don't have to curve the ball whatsoever. And then, you know, mainly for the fact of just starting off, you know, a brand new hole here, you literally just want to drive that ball as far down as possible. Now, there's going to be a tree right here, and wind could be a factor. And there's also a sand pit, I believe, over there. So I'm just going to kind of launch this right through the trees just like this. Once again, launching it as far down as possible. But there's also going to be another tree down there. And I don't want to be too inward on that tree. I didn't get enough strength. Trying to curve it right here a little bit. Not the best here. I would love to be a lot more over the right side because that tree is going to be in my way right here. So I didn't really hit it the, hit it the farthest here. So at this time, we got a couple options. I could go off to the right and I could hit it. I could hit the ball really hard, okay? And then also, I want to talk about spins. When you guys hit your ball, you can jam X and then point the ball into the, the direction that you want it to go when it lands. And even in midair, you can change the direction of your ball's curvature in which its, flat, or its flight path is taking here. So, potentially, what I'm going to want to do here is either launch it up over the tree, which is going to be all my might, just like this, and then hit it over there. And then also, make sure you guys factor in for wind. So, it does look like it is pushing it off to the left just a little bit here, and then it is pushing it just a tiny bit forward. So, I'd want to move over, 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 like right about here maybe, or a little bit more over than that, right about here. So I'm going to launch it around this tree, and then I'm going to be pushing, spamming X, and then left on the D-pad. Watch this. Nin, 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 nin. Bam. Got it over there. Decent. I was able to avoid those trees, because if you guys hit trees, dude, the branches will stop your ball, and you're not going to be having a good day, because potentially you could get something to where it's just going to knock your ball out of bounds, which you guys really need to make sure you stay away from certain things, which I'll be talking about here as we're continuing on. So I think my friend is going to do the same thing here. He's going to hit this around the tree and then push it left. Just like this, and then jamming it left. And then it should land over here. Oh, so it looks like he was in... He's looking pretty good right there. So once again, this is hole number two. So it's going to be a straight putt in. You guys shouldn't have to deal with any curvature whatsoever. Totally flat for this. So for this putt, it's quite far away. So here we go. A little bit over strength. Perfect. As you guys can see right there, I was able to dominate that putt. And really, when you guys are putting, you shouldn't have to worry about the wind too much. And there we go. My friend was able to land a birdie. Yes! So we're both looking good right now. We both have negative two. So if you guys are playing decent by hole two, you should be at least negative two. Uh, you definitely don't want to be in the red at this point because <laughs> that would be really bad. But anyways, here we go. We're going to continue on going through the rest of the seven remaining holes and i can continue like or i can tell you guys as you continue to play through golf you will memorize all of these holes so right now we're looking pretty good for the scoreboard uh the both of us we're having a good game so far but you know you guys could even start off having a bad game you could you could land in the sand i've landed in the sand before and that's just not been the best but i've been able to save myself so right here you guys Hole number three. This can be a hole in one if you hit it perfect. I've seen my friend here 
He'll, who like the only person that I've ever seen get a hole in one in golf, and I'm still trying to get my hole in one at some point as I continue on my adventures playing golf strictly for competition, just for the skill. Because regardless of you getting a fat payout or not, it still feels pretty good being number one up on that leaderboard, right? All right, you guys, so here we go. Uh, yeah, we got the wind pushing a little bit forward and off to the right. So I'm going to try to aim this a little bit off to the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to spin it backward. So that means when I'm jamming X, I'm pressing down on my left analog stick. And that puts spin on it. And you guys can see how close I got there. I got a lot closer than my friend. He's going to go ahead and knock that in there with a little bit of curvature. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Got another birdie. We're looking good so far. All right. All I got to do is just put this in. It looks like it might be a little bit curved. For some of these holes, there's going to be a hole that we have dubbed Hell Hill. And I will be talking about that as we get there. And we'll be talking about the curvatures and everything else that we're going to need to go ahead and do. So check this out. Negative three and negative three. Me and my friends so far are having perfect games, it looks like. Doesn't get much better than this unless you guys can get an eagle and or holes in one. By this time, by hole four, you should be you should be looking at about a negative three potentially. All right. Oh wow, knocked it all the way into the into the green down there. All right, once again, wind is a big factor, you guys. You can see that the wind is pushing off to the right, okay? So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna launch this all the way down as far as possible but be careful why because there's water down here and if you land in the water that's not going to give you a very a very good score because it's well it's not going to give you a score whatsoever because you landed in the water so for this potentially what i'm going to want to do which another thing you guys can do at this uh at this hole is actually you see that tree right there off to the right of me that big one you can actually curve it around that off to the right side and then as you guys are hitting it down that way you would just like uh, put spin to the ball jamming x and then pushing the ball left but one thing you guys really need to stay away from these trees they will punish you look at this perfect we're just gonna go over the right here push it down watch out technically not the best okay because i didn't drive it down the furthest i didn't want to hit the water but i've got myself a nice little straight shot right here to where i can go ahead and hit this thing but once again look at the wind the wind is seriously pushing right okay and if you guys are doing long shots just like this you know look at that that would like go in the that would like go in the water if i hit that too hard over there get off of me he just teasing the tension, baby. Just teasing the tension. So, once again, we're going to try to punch it. If we can punch it, we're going to punch it. So, this is a punch right here. Full force aiming right for the hole, okay? Well, maybe a little bit off to the left here. We're going to aim a little bit off to the left because there is some wind. Maybe I should have gone a little bit more, but here we go. Mainly what you're trying to do at this point is either get it right in the hole or get it as close as possible just like that so you're gonna end up with a putt that's only gonna be like two feet or something like that and you know compared to something like 12 feet it's a big difference and right there my friend decided to go ahead and putt it but that got him super close to where you can get an auto putt is what it's called and if you can get an auto putt those are the greatest because it literally just takes your controls over and auto putts the ball into the hole so here we go right here we're very close just want to land right in that little yellow area perfect a little bit on the bottom is this a little bit better so i'll be talking about this as well because we're coming up on hell hill here soon negative four to negative four me and my friend are having an excellent game it looks like and if you guys are you know taking in consideration any of the stuff that i'm talking about potentially if you like to play games of golf with your friends and or random players which once again it's really hard to get a random player to even get to to hole nine before they rage quit all right so here we go we're gonna go ahead and drive this sucker as far as we can down this way but watch out because there's a tree over here but also we gotta we gotta calculate for the wind curvature right there too so i am gonna go a little bit left on this one i don't want to hit that tree 
There, full force, perfect hit. And then jam right on the... Yeah, right? There we go, spamming. Ooh, looks like I made it into the rough. Not really what I wanted to do right there. Somebody's closer. But still good because I got a straight shot and I can even see the hole from super far away. I should probably just be able to hit that as hard as I can. So here's my friend right here. So you just gotta go up over this sand pit real quick. Go all the way down the way here. Once again, your main goal, at least my main goal when it comes to these longer shots and the holes right there, is just try to get the ball as closest as you can to the hole. Of course, I'm trying to like, you know, get it in the hole itself because that would be called an eagle right there. If I could launch the ball from here and I could land it in the hole, that would give me an incredible nice uh, couple points there to add to my score because I got an eagle. And an eagle is really hard to get in the game, just to let you guys know too. Pretty hard to get an eagle. But if we could just get as close to that hole as possible, just like that, we should be looking good here to have a decent game of golf. And another thing too, guys, is remembering the holes. Remembering, you know, which one you're on because once again, there's holes number one, two, six, and nine, and that's going to be your, your straight putts, okay? A little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit more strength for my friend there. My friend actually got robbed for not sinking that in. It was literally right on the edge there. If the wind blew a little bit more, it would have went in. And then there we go. Got myself another birdie. Scores are looking good. Negative five to negative four. My friend would be at negative five just as me, but he, well, something got messed up on that putt back there. All right, you guys, so here we go. This is another hole that we can get a hole in one at. And it's pretty difficult to do that, just to let you guys know. But I'll let you know when I get one. All right, here we go. Oh, too far, too much strength, way too much strength. So you guys see the wind right there. The wind actually pushed my ball way too far. So if you guys see the wind pushing forward, which the best way that the wind can be pushing is towards your back as going down the course. You don't want the wind pushing any other way because once the wind starts pushing hard to the left, hard to the right, or hard backwards, it makes it a lot more harder to judge mentally like what you have to do. Okay, so here we go. This is probably where I'm gonna mess up on. We just gotta get this straight putt right in here. Wind shouldn't matter for putts. Extra strength. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Oh my God, I got it. Straight in. Nice. Oh, good job, buddy. And there's my friend just putting it in. Oh, negative six to negative five. All right, you guys, so this one right here is dubbed, I believe, Hell Hill, okay? So you gotta watch out for this one. Don't hit one of those trees. And I've seen players, and I've done this before too, as I've hit that cement right there off to the left of me and I've launched the ball even further. But if you guys touch that stuff and it lands in there, that's, that's not gonna be good, okay? It's basically like landing in the water at that time. It's just gonna be like an unavailable hit or whatever. So there we go, watch out. Oh, he hit the tree and it's in the water. That's what you got to watch out for, ladies and gentlemen, because there's two trees right there and the wind is curving. There we go. We're looking good. All right. So at this time, definitely get over the sand pit. Try to get your ball as close to that hole as possible because this is what me and my friends have dubbed hell hill because this right here is the worst like putting in the game it's it's absolutely horrible because of you know the curvature of the earth at that particular point all right so here we go once again i'm gonna try to well it doesn't look like i'm gonna be able to punch that is it not gonna have enough strength for that so we're just going to go ahead and hit it. If you guys don't have enough, you know, distance for punching, then of course you're going to have to go ahead and do it, uh, a different golf club there. So I'm going to try to get mine up this way just a little bit. Uh, it's probably a little bit too far, but once again, right here, this is like a slope. It's like sloping downward, okay? So just try to be like mindful of that. So we're just going to go ahead and full strength, perfect hit. Oh, oh, get some bounce to it. 
Man, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, definitely on this one, try to get as close as possible. So right now, my friend is putting uphill. So if you're putting uphill, you better put a lot more strength to that because he didn't put enough strength to his and potentially putting uphill is super hard to do in the game, okay? It's just something that the game doesn't like you to do. And it looks like here I am potentially putting a little bit uphill and off to the right. So we'll see if we can get this. Yeah, just a little bit off to the right. Maybe for this, I'd want to go just a little bit extra strength. <gasps> no! Son of a bitch, Paul. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! There it is. There goes my score. Oh, man. I would have had a way better score there. But you guys see what I'm talking about? Me and my friend still struggle to this day with Hell Hill, in which we have dubbed it. Which I think is uh, hill number six or something like that or seven. I, I don't, whatever. All right, you guys. So here we go. We are moving further along, looking good. Just gonna drive this sucker straight down here, as far as I can. Get some bounce to it. Spamming A or X, pointing forward on my left analog stick because I want to put spin to that. So when it hits the ground, it'll spin forward, and then of course pushing it forward to make it go even further. Usually every single time that I hit the ball, I am spamming A or spamming X, depending on what console I would be on, or maybe the Z button if I was on uh, PC. So there we go. We're looking pretty good. Now, for this particular hole, I want you guys to be mindful that there is a sand pit right there. So there's a sand pit, and we don't want to land in it. So maybe one of the better things that we can do is just hit our ball right into this tree over here because this tree's branches will actually stop our ball not that tree right there that's in front of me but the tree beyond that so that tree right there yeah we're gonna want to aim for those branches right there or particularly below the branches so i'm probably just gonna aim for there right there because those branches will actually stop your ball from going into the sand and this is gonna be what i call plain it's safe okay so you're not like well i'm just gonna hit it as far as possible because that's not gonna be the best option i don't feel all right, so here we go. I think my friend's gonna go ahead and hit the tree. So watch this. We go for the tree branches. Bam, perfect. It's gonna drop his ball down. So there we go. So between us and the hole, got this sand pit. Don't ever land in sand pits. They are horrible. And if you are gonna land in a sand pit, just try to punch yourself out of it. If you're close enough to the hole, like over here, I would just punch it, just like what I'm going to do now. Punching is one of the better things you guys can be doing. I will check this out. Got pretty close. Pretty close right there. Once again, if I was able to get a shot like that, that would be an eagle. And that would be an incredibly awesome uh, extra point on my score there. So, like, holes in ones, there's only, I think, two holes that you guys can get holes in ones on. And then, you know, if you can get an eagle, man, that'd be great. All right, looks like almost a straight putt in. Maybe a little bit off to the... Yeah, there it is. Got a birdie. Looking good. And then for me, I'm just going to want to putt it in. Never go on the top of the yellow bar. Go more towards down the bottom of it. It's a very small little thing that you have to hit. All right, so my friend did end up messing up, hitting that tree and a couple other things, and I messed up potentially, so I would be at like negative eight right now. My friend would be at like negative eight as well. So here we go, you guys. It looks like we are on the last hole, hole number nine, and this one is pretty straightforward. What's really awesome about hole number nine is this one, once we get close enough to the hole, it is going to be a straight putt in. So once again, I'll throw those numbers out there. So the straight putt ones or the straight putt holes are gonna be hole number one, Hole number two, hole number six, and then hole number nine. So right there, we got into the, the mediocre grass, I guess. Yeah, so for this one, it's pretty straightforward. You really want the wind to be pushing against your back and carrying that ball as far, as far forward as possible. All right. 
So for this, I don't think I'm going to be able to punch it. So maybe the best thing that I can do. So there's a punch right there. I don't think I can punch it, though, because I'm not going to have enough strength for it. So we got the wind curvature. Pretty bad. I'm going to hit it as hard as I can. A little bit off to the left. And then, of course, oh, man, that wind really carried it so far. Wow. Wow, that wind is really pushing. You guys see how far off to the left that I took that? Now, if, imagine if I was just going straight for the hole right there. It would have carried it probably all the way off into the sand. So definitely make, you know, mathematical calculations inside your mind when you're looking at that upper right-hand screen over there that shows you, you know, the wind, basically, and how your ball's sitting and all that type of stuff. All right, cool. So all, all I got to do is just straight put it in here, guys. Looks like full strength, too. All right! Yeah! <laughs> there it is. And that, my friends, is how we play golf. I got myself a negative, what is that, eight score, which is like one of my better scores. And my friend ended up getting a negative five. But the only reason that he got a negative five is because he messed up a couple times with that uh, with that tree that he hit and it went into the water and stuff like that back there. Otherwise, he would have had a better score. And another thing, too, I just wanted to go ahead and make this video talking about how you guys, potentially, not a lot of players out there play golf, but for those that either are interested in getting into it, it's pretty fun when it comes to being competitious. I mean, besides the fact of not, like, not getting any money or really any good RP out of this is lame. And I really feel at this time that Rockstar should do more of an update to the golf. Seeing this how out of all the five activities that you can do in the game, there's only five activities, golf is the best. So anyways, from there, if the video was helpful and you guys ended up enjoying this and you were able to increase your, your game of golfing by watching this, uh, hit that like button on the way out, subscribe for more content, and thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful and you're having a good rest of the day. My name is Gravesite. Good luck with the golf, and I'm out of here, so peace. You like that, baby? Let him know where I came from, yeah!